Good morning. Thought we would take a look around our garden this morning and show you a few things. Right now I was gonna show you. Look at the calendula. It all bloomed yesterday. I'm gonna pick those off probably later. I'm probably gonna make some tea out of those tonight. They were really in full bloom yesterday, but I didn't have my camera on me or I would have showed you. I really think that they just look awesome. I'm gonna get some more buds. So I'll pick these off tonight after work make some tea out of them and let those all bloom those look really healthy and beautiful i had a blueberry plant in there and it died i had two blueberry plants and they both died but that's just the way it is i guess so there's some apples boy these tomato plants are looking great <laughs> thanks donald and kathy <laughs> those two are looking good too i got those from you as well and the mustards and borage, spaghetti squash. They're finally starting to come up. <laughs> Took a minute. Here's the moonflower, there's one. Um, I noticed, I think that this little bulb here is where the seeds are. I'm hoping, um, I'm gonna let them, let them uh, really just get where they fall off and I'm gonna pop them and see. I think that's where the seed is. This looks really good. And then I got the tomatoes. I got little baby tomatoes. I'm hoping those are the black heirlooms because those I'm like really excited. I've never really had black tomatoes and I'm excited. And then check this out. See that little baby? Look at this one. There's another baby. And then that one. Isn't it cute? I'm excited. I am. I just am. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if those are mini, mini pumpkins or melons. I really don't know. I have to go look back. I got a, I got a watermelon down there, and I got. I think that's, yeah, some basil. The kale, all the bugs have been getting them, but I'm hoping it gets big enough where we can fight them out. I keep going in and getting them off, and just pick those little uh, caterpillar-like moth caterpillars off of there and I wash it real good with the hose spray it real good and it's been working I mean clearly they've been eating and then look I've got zinnias Woo! the zinnias are coming up that means the butterflies will come and the bees my poor marigolds are getting swallowed by them though <laughs> I've been picking off the dead ones and just setting them in here I'm going to put them up soon. I'm in mean, some marigold seeds. I surely don't have as many as Debbie gave me. Thank you, Debbie. But I'll have a couple. <laughs> I'll show you the uh, violas. I think they're just so cute. Look at them, aren't they? Isn't that just adorable? All of them. I really think they're cute. This is a plant. This is a flower as well. I thought it would flower small, but it seems to be growing. But, yeah. Then the sage, I need to trim the sage all down. This poor cucumber, Lori, I've had some problems too, but look at this cucumber. It looks a lot like yours. I mean, your, some of your plants. Um, and I don't know, I think it just got fried because it has flowers all over it. I, I don't know, some, some are doing great and some aren't. So I don't know, maybe it's just crazy drought weather. Or, I'm just unsure. But I'm really happy that the zinnias are growing. That's nice. And then let's see. Ooh, oh, can't wait for those to get ripe. Uh oh, the the cilantro is flowering. I let this one flower. I didn't let the other one. See that? It smells good. We'll get us some coriander maybe. I got a bunch of coriander seeds last time. And then the kale. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie tonight with these. I'm gonna come out and get all get a bunch of kale and see if I can make me a smoothie with a recipe that I got from. Um, uh, Nadine, Nadine May, thank you for the comfrey. It looks really sick right now, but it will grow. I cut off all the leaves. I got comfrey there and over there, and I had a root that I bought in there. So I want three plants of comfrey, I'm hoping, and then I can separate them later. I'm excited about that. But um, yeah, the kale, I'm gonna make it, gonna make me a little smoothie tonight, maybe. Maybe I'll film it put it on our show on our uh page so we can show everybody check out this onion isn't that awesome hmm did you see it isn't that awesome that's wild onion 
Mm, definitely oniony. I like that. I got a couple wild onions I just let grow. Here's another one. The vine's trying to get to it. Well, the vine did get to it, but. It's for another day. I'll have to come out tonight and unwrap it. I've unwrapped this onion several times from this thing, and apparently it just loves that onion. It wants to just hug it all the time. <laughs> and I got some basil. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, that's regular basil. Mm. I have lemon and cinnamon. The kale's looking good. I'm going to come out and get some tonight. Kale. I'll get some basil. I'll get the, the calendula. I got one down here, too. Yay! And the lemon balm's getting ready to bloom. Those are the red beans. I didn't think this thing would work. I got this from regular peppers. It's got a few little babies on it. We're going to see. Maybe it'll prove me wrong. Got some weeds growing up. I know you're supposed to trim some so they have the little organisms underground, but I think I got enough organisms underground. I'm going to come out and trim the lettuces, get some peppers. Ooh, look at those. Aren't those pretty? And then I moved this box. I had that box here, and I moved it because I wanted to put this comfrey out. So... It looks pretty good. I, I can get in here now to check on this poor watermelon. I thought it was going to die, but check it out. It looks good. The melons are growing. They're growing, growing. They want to be in the ground, though. They don't really want to vine because they see these little pieces here. They want to get in the ground, and they want to make melons. And I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them. There we go. Hopefully this can grow right here around the comfrey. Anyway, there we go. I'm done playing in that. And then we'll come over here. Oh, looky here. This is a zinnia from last year. It came up. Isn't that nice? That's nice. I got some sunflowers. I'm hoping they'll grow soon. I mean, bloom soon. I got the peas in here. They're all pretty bad. I'm going to probably start harvesting them. I'm going to pull all them out and get whatever peas I can off of them. The purple ones are still going to leave them for a little bit. They're doing pretty good. There's some more wild onions. And I got a lettuce there. See, I'll get some of that tonight. The strawberries are okay, but I haven't really got any strawberries. Peppermint. Just never know. Look at all these beautiful flowers. I pulled off a big old squash. I mean, she was a good size one this time. They were little babies because I guess I was getting ahead of myself and pulling them too early. Oh, looky there. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I'm excited. And then I've got some beans here. This is that spaghetti squash. It's gonna try and take over this basil. This is a uh, lemon basil. It smells so good and it is so good damn good i'm just saying lemon basil is i think the best basil that you can get out of the basils even though i have cinnamon and regular basil as well these are just the uh touch me nots these are all those chives i got from rocky there's the okras i got a few okras in here there there's a couple over there Eh, you know i'm not real worried about it look at these babies Woo can't wait for them to turn red We'll have clusters of them. They look like red grapes, but they'll be tomatoes. It'll be fantastic. I'm excited about it. I know I say that a lot, but I do get really excited about it. <laughs> All right. Beans are growing good. I could probably get a few out of there. I haven't really messed with those. Sunflowers, nasturtiums. Now, I, this is a wild carrot, I think. I think that's a carrot. If you know about carrots, tell me, because I'm pretty sure that's a carrot from last year. And I could be wrong, but it doesn't smell like fennel or dill or anything. And it's got that flower. I know that carrots flower. I put the uh, blackberries that I got from Nadine over here along the fence line. Ooh, the dogs are freaking out. But uh, 
And then I got this giant squash flower. Ooh, those things are prickly and painful. And it's gonna grow. I wanted it to kind of grow this way, but I guess it's not gonna, but yeah. Oh, frog! <laughs> there he is, see him? Hi, frog. How you doing, buddy? He scared me at first. <laughs> no warts for me, I'm not picking him up. <laughs> But yeah, he's cool. I, I haven't seen a frog in a long time. Huh? <laughs> a couple of years, I think. <laughs> All right. And then the ferns are coming back. The flowers are coming up. I think this is spinach. I mean, I really do think that this is a, a lettuce or a spinach that I planted and didn't even realize it. Just kind of surprised. To... And then I've got all that kale and all that kale. I'm going to pull it up. I'm excited about it. I'm just like thrilled. And, the, and there's the place where I, my shed should be. It's, it's not here yet. <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer than I think they anticipated. But I'm not mad at the Amish people. It might take them a little longer to make it. And then when they bring it, I'll be so happy. And then I'll have it for 20 something years and I'll be thankful. Yay, I'm excited about everything today. There's my touch me nots I put in here. I had it so muddy as so I put rock down. I put, I cut a hole in it left them there i think it looks a lot better i figure in the future when i plant stuff in here i can just cut out a new hole or add some dirt because this would be a really good grounder and then you can add dirt to it and then more flowers however i want to do it there's some more i can't wait till they bloom they're gonna look good along the house there like that i think that's the that's my back porch it's not that big or or sturdy <laughs> but it it supports me when i need it <laughs> All right, and then there's some more chives, some of the garlic chives. It's definitely garlicky. And then I got one more of these bad boys. The other two died. I mean, they do, they come up. If you let those things fall, they'll come up, and they'll come up, and they'll come up. Hi, Gray Cat. There's Gray Cat. Hi, Gray Cat. And uh, look at this bean. I have let it go just to see. And look at this thing. Look at it. It's just huge. And I, I, I keep wanting to pull it off, and I'm like, man, I just I just want to see how big it'll get. It's huge. I've never seen one that... Oh, wow, my hair looks crazy. But I've never seen one that big of you. <laughs> got big fat pee. <laughs> and I got all these little guys here waiting to see when I get my potatoes. I'm not really sure about that, but should get them soon. Should start turning and stuff. And here I put some rosemary in the ground to see if it would grow. It's not doing best, but I'm hoping, by God, gosh, that one of them will take. Those two didn't make it. But I started them in water, and I don't even think they like a lot of water. So I don't know if you're just supposed to stick them directly in the ground or what. But the other two I did, I stuck directly into the ground. I'm hoping. Check out these beans. Those are, those are red beans. Those are like the black beans. I had to move my table collapse. My table was falling apart, so I had to move it. When I did, it broke the vine that I had growing here so pretty. So I'm hoping that it'll get back to life and grow my fulfillment of that thing. It wasn't quite, but the other ones are filling up. So, oh, I wanted to show you. Check it out. Look at that thing. It's just with that warm air we've been getting, just pop, 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 pop with the, with the cactus. <laughs> Ah, all right, I guess it's time to go in. You know, y'all stay safe and stay healthy and be nice to each other. And if you want to show me your garden, show me your gardens. And if they're not doing that good, you know, I mean, I really don't know a lot about um, the garden when it starts to go bad. I mean, I just search it, I research it, and I try and do it that way through through the internet and on a book. Or I'll get a hold of somebody I know is grown it before and ask them but sometimes with weather is like we've had it you lose crops and can't help it last year i had a terrible year but this year i've been planting and praying and praying and planting and really on the garden in it every day looking at it watering it every other night i, I watered it every night for three weeks just to make sure because I had new fresh new babies and when you're young when they're young and new you have to water them a lot now as they get older some of them like tomatoes they like to be starved a little bit right before they produce 
and then you and then you feed them and then boom 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 they start to come out and I mean I don't know a ton oh my goodness gracious I don't know a ton about it but I'm learning and as I learn I'll share my information and as you learn share your information with me because the more we know as a, as we build our relationships with our plants and each other it just gets better and better and we get better and better and I'm thankful to have you all in my group thank you for being here and now I got to show you something that's really exciting me I have a banana pepper plant and I've had it for four years I bring it in every winter and I thought that girl was not gonna make it this year and look at this she has produced a banana pepper and she's got a nope that's a, another little baby but I am excited about that because I did not think this poor girl was going to make another year I think I'm going to try and propagate her. So if anybody knows how to do that with potato, uh, I'm sorry, a pepper plant, let me know. Because I would definitely want to save her if I can. I'll have to save her, her, her pepper that she, her single pepper and get seeds and start a new one, huh? Have a little baby, go with my mama. Speaking of babies, look at that baby. <laughs> He's camera shy. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, be nice to each other, and have a great day. Stay out of that heat. Bye.